You need to go to Bethany School, it's awesome. Just so nice. <laughs> yeah, I like it a lot. Bethany just becomes uh, part of your family. It's just really, it's nice. It's a different school, it's a different, it's a different feel. That was probably one of the best academic experiences I've ever had. My wife and I love it, my daughter loves it, and that's what, that's what counts. I love Bethany. I don't think I could imagine going somewhere else. I was chaplain at Bethany back in the 80s, and my time as chaplain affected my life greatly. Bethany is unmatched. We haven't seen anything like it. And that combines the diversity, academic excellence, the small class size. I don't believe there's a school campus like this anywhere in the city. It's a school that has a real radical welcome for all. Bethany School originally was a home for orphans. And as the children grew older, they needed an education. So then the school started and then word got out that it was a good place. Some other people started sending their children here. The boarding department was closed and uh, boys were allowed in and it was just a day school. It was an environment that was challenging. It encouraged us to learn. And I attended seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, graduating from there in 1970. Helping children to grow into all the possibilities that God has in store for them. That really is the vocation. And this school then and now um, is remarkably diverse in every sense that you can think of. We draw from all over Cincinnati and we draw uh, students and their families who come from a variety of different backgrounds. It's just not really a school where somebody's kids are excluded for various reasons. The, the love that the kids get, the, the attention that they're able to get because of the smaller classes and the diversity. Diversity not just racially but socioeconomically and spiritually. You get so many different perspectives and it's something that you never forget. Um, I think it makes, you, it, it makes you the person you are. As education research has, has shown us, um, when students have that opportunity to learn in a diverse environment, um, cognitively they grow um, exponentially. That diversity only bolsters its academic excellence and character excellence, so for us it was the only option. A child is not just their reading score or their math score, that there's a lot more that goes into making up a child. Every child matters and every person, whether they're on the staff or the faculty, um, the, one of the sisters, everybody matters. Bethany's prepared me with just the way the classes are laid out. Since it's so small, it's sort of like you can have more one-on-one -on -one time. I feel like this um, Bethany really prepares you for high school. We prepare them extraordinarily well for high school and even for college. Freshman year is kind of a breeze because everything that we did freshman year, we did in eighth grade, some of it in seventh grade, so it was just like, you know, this is kind of a breeze. It's a real effort to be as varied and as comprehensive as possible. It's a challenge and I, I, like, I like to be challenged, so it's kind of fun. We went to many different schools. There is no school that has a campus like this. I mean, this is just amazing to me. It reminded me of a small college campus. This way you can get, get see fresh air and it's nice. Being able to take that walk from St. Faith to, to gym or to art or wherever you were going, it still made it cool. It gave it that, that, that homey feel. And I'm really thankful that all that Bethany has given me. This is a beautiful campus. I mean, it is a remarkably beautiful one. Um, but the buildings have aged. Um, and actually, they were, <laughs> some of them were aging back when I was here. Um, and, and so it's time to, to take it the next step. It's time to move to Bethany 2.0. I think towards the tail end of when I was here, we all started trying to realize like, man, these ceilings are really low. <laughs> I mean, your locker's here and the ceiling's here. So it's like, well, okay, let me duck down and get in there. Well, certainly when people come to Bethany for the first time and look at the physical uh, property, uh, they're amazed. When we walk into the buildings, they are amazed at the age of the buildings and the historic nature of them, but also realize that with age comes extensive use. A lot of people may not know what a capital campaign is exactly, and even if they know what a capital campaign is, Bethany's never done one. Our classrooms are half the size of what's recommended by the state. The buildings need to be updated uh, for multiple reasons, for safety reasons, for handicap accessibility. In order to continue that tradition of community and sound learning in inviting spaces, you gotta do some building. Look, this is big. This is a big number. These are, we're asking everybody for a large commitment. 
it is sometimes necessary for, for the good and the decent and the honorable to invest in institutions that really can be transformative in the lives of children and young people. This is not linked to tuition. Mm -hmm. Tuition is not going to go up. Um, tuition is not able to pay for this. As I think about where we are in the capital campaign, we've kind of been preseason, but now it's regular season. Mm -hmm. We gotta go, <laughs> we gotta go get in the game and make it happen. And so Bethany really does need all of our support, mine and yours. So we invite you to, to give as much as you can, to work as much as you are able. Bethany School matters. It matters because our children do. God bless you. God keep you. And may God hold us all in the hallow of those almighty hands of love. Can you splice that? In? And give, and give, give. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>